So we're here actually in Cambridge. I'm playing Mr. Mom. Uh, had the kitties out to eat. There's Addie. Addie, you want to say hi? Hi. Addie's out to eat. Ava's hiding behind the book. Holly's in the back. We were at the park earlier. Uh, got to watch Walk on the Moon win easily at the meadow. So it's been a pretty good day. Um, as you guys know, the sale and sales to farms is going on. I've been on a number of horses over the last two days. They were just too high in, in my, and that's not even in my estimation. I just wasn't prepared to spend that kind of money on a horse, right? On, on those horses. I like them, but you know, when we're in Lexington and I can pull a horse out of the, out of the stall and look at the horse and, you know, potentially do x-rays or a vet, vet, look, a vet check of the horse. That's one thing. I didn't go to a lot of these farms. I was looking at the sale catalog and I was wondering where can we find some value? And it became very worrisome to me <laughs> after day one and two, there was no value to be found in the Sealster catalog. Then I looked at a horse uh, that was selling today. Now I did bid on one today. If you're the gentleman or the lady, I can't, I can't remember who bought the, the wheeling and dealing at a Memories of Texas. I was the underbidder on that particular. Actually, no, I wasn't the underbidder. I was out at 23,000. I think it went for a little bit more. So that's not true. I wasn't the underbidder. I had one other horse. Ollie, what's the name of the horse? What's the name of it? Nothing but a dreamer. That's right. Nothing but a dreamer was the name of the Ridgeling. Now, the great story behind this horse. I hope this place is Hey, full. stop it. Two, two. Hey, we haven't had any luck at the sale. And, and I, I had reserved my thoughts to simply saying... We aren't getting any horses in this sale. That's just the way it is. Then I went, hey guys, then I went and uh, looked at all the videos again, looked at a lot of the pedigrees. I noticed there was a horse with the same pedigree as Baumhugger. Now, there's obviously better horses out of that family than Baumhugger, one being Marion Marauder, who's won everything. So I spoke to the farm and I looked at the video. The horse looked a little off, a little, Oliver, can you sit with your sister? A little dinky uh, in his video. So I'm obviously curious what went on with this horse. He said, Anthony, the horse, this, she said this entire sale for this horse was not good. First off, uh, the two-year-old colt was a little nasty. So they had a muscle hill and a bar hopping. Um, Mike Keeling ended up with the one last year, they said. And, um, hey, hey, stop. And uh, when they went to video the horse, the day before the horse was lame. You can see the horses off in the, in the video in the field. So she said... <laughs> The sale said the horse was originally. Our vet came out and checked and said, I could geld the horse right here. The, the testicle's not completely up in, the, up in the abdomen. It's in the canal. I could geld the horse right here. Which, that's a gray area. That's a slippery slope. I believe if you had been in another sale, now I could be wrong. I don't want to say I'm right in this. I'm not positive. But I believe if they can feel the testicle in the canal, that horse is actually a, a colt. I believe that's how it is. But I could be wrong. 100% could be wrong. Either way, the horse wouldn't need to be laying on a table in a university. The horse could be gelded at the barn. To me, as a trainer, he would be a gelding, which he'll likely be, not a stud. So, um, it says right on there, OCDs out of the hawks and the horse originally. So, I'm thinking to myself, maybe the OCDs, maybe the horse a little pinchy, maybe the mount leg. Geez, the horse had them out a long time ago. So, when I talked to the farm, they said, he had an abscess in his foot. The vet can back out, check the horse all over. They were videoing the next day. We x-rayed that entire leg, top to bottom. There's nothing wrong with it. We have the x-rays. You can look at them. It was simply an abscess. And you can see it. Addie, stop. I asked you no talk while I was doing the video. Addie, can you, Ali, can you give her that, please? What? Whatever you're twirling that she wants to touch. Um, so it turns out here's a horse that's originally, that's not really originally, uh, that was lame, but really isn't lame in the video. It was really bad for the breeders. And I guess, Hey, stop. I give it. No, I guess. She just keeps dropping it. Okay. Addie, stop, please. You're not going into the restaurant. If you're going to be whiny, I'm not going to take you in. No more. Thought that'd work. Uh, so here's a horse that really was. A nightmare for the breeders as far as the video, the write up. Uh, hey, hey, stop right now! Right now, I don't think I ever did this when I was a kid. It was always really nice. So, uh, we ended up with a colt, Addie. You gonna behave? We ended up with a colt. Call, can you say dreamer, Addie? Can you say dreamer? Can you say dreamer? No, so we ended up, we ended up with dreamer. 
Uh, we're going to go pick him up on Friday. He came in right on exactly where the bucket needed to be. This was a muscle mass out of a sister to the mother of Mary Marauder. Um, so he's in the second dam. A very, hey, that's enough. A very, very good uh, purchase, I believe, especially everything considered, all things considered, the story behind the horse, the OCDs, the lameness, the ridgling that's not a ridgling. It worked out very, very good considering uh, how the mother muscle masses have sold. So that's my take on nothing but a dreamer. He's ours. He fills up our bucket. Sealster, Sealster uh, sale is closed for us. We got what we wanted. We're on our way. I'll talk to you all very, very soon. I'm starving. You gotta eat something to eat. Let me put a tongue tie on her. Take care.